Hey everyone, it's Cory DeSoto. I know it's been a while, but I'm here, so no single A lot of people on YouTube have been doing this type of video that I'm doing today. It's an assumptions video. And so I asked you on Twitter and Instagram, what are some assumptions about me? And you guys gave me some real doozies. You know, some of you are real, you know, you hide behind that computer and that phone like you're effing Carmen San Diego and you can just say and do whatever you want. 11 and 10 year olds asking real raunchy questions and one day I'm just gonna put you on blast and show everyone what you've been saying. Alright, so let's just jump right into it. You dance and sing with Flynn when Colleen is not home. For some of you who don't know me, I live with Colleen, she's a huge superstar, amazing, beautiful, talented, working, mother of the year, wife, entrepreneuress, queen of the night and the daytime, woman. And she has a baby. But Colleen is never without Flynn. She's holding him, nursing him, taking care of him 24-7. She's literally the best mom I've ever seen. So I never get like a time where I'm like, oh, I get a whole day with Flynn. He's a brand new baby, Colleen's with him 24-7, taking care of him, rocking it as a mom. So like, I don't have like dance parties with him, but there has been times where we're trying to get him to sleep and we all are just like kind of dancing with him in the room. And I know that seems weird, like, why would you like want to dance with a baby to get him to sleep? But you know, when they're in the belly, they're used to all that movement. And Colleen, through the majority of her pregnancy, she was on stage jumping and dancing and singing. So I feel like Flynn is just like, yes, this is where I'm at. This is where I'm supposed to be. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Okay, a lot of people asked this assumption. They said, you aren't gay or you are straight. And 100%, I am straighter. Than an arrow. I am so straight. Look at my crystals in my bowl. I'm straight. I'm straight. Look at my pink phone case. It's cool. I'm straight. I'm straight. Look at my fan. I'm effing hot. I'm straight. I'm straight. Honestly, I don't know why people are so obsessed with that. Like, we all know I'm a raging homosexual. You're really self conscious about your body, so you work out and try to help and help and you're proud of your progress. I feel like I didn't work out because I'm self-conscious of my body. I feel like I'm working out because I honestly just want a man's. And I live in LA and everyone in LA is a model, actress, singer, dancing machine, robot. And so you have to have a perfect body because everyone here has a perfect body. And I know like, Corey, that is such a horrible standard to live by, but I'm just being honest. That's how it started. Like. I wanted to feel more attractive, I wanted to feel beautiful, and then so, but now that I go to the gym more regularly, and I enjoy it, and I'm like feeling more healthy, and I'm living my life, like I've changed my thought process to like, oh I'm doing it because it's something for me, it's something for myself, it's something for my health, and in the long run it's really going to be a beneficial thing to me, so. But I told you the real answer, I did it because I was wanting to be sexy. Okay, a lot of people had this assumption. They said, I'm in a secret relationship. I have a secret boyfriend. I'm dating someone and it's absolutely true. Lies. I'm lying. I'm totally lying. I'm not dating anyone. I'm single. I was hanging out with this guy, Nick, and we were dating and I was like, posting stories with him all the time and posting pictures of him on dates that we've been on. But like, I really like him. I think he's so handsome. I think he's an awesome person and I would love to date him. But we didn't work out because I want something more serious and he's just like, doesn't want to commit to that. He's 23, 24, he lives in Hollywood. He wants to live his best life and I do not blame him. Like, I'm an old grandpa who just wants to stay at home and watch Netflix and he wants to go experience life and date around and be, live life to the fullest and I'm like, do it, girl. Do it. Flynn isn't yours, correct? Not mine. You're secretly envious at Colleen and Eric's relationship. You know, I feel that's true. I am envious, but it's not like I'm not jealous. A lot of people have brought this one up too. I'm not jealous of like Colleen and Eric and like Flynn because I think like, I'm like raging mad. I'm jealous because like I want that. Like I would love to be in a relationship and have a family and start something. Um, yeah, like I'm jealous of that love. A lot of people have 
said something about this, about me living with Colleen and making it forever and see it's not fun, is it weird? I'm living with her and she has a baby. Listen, you know, when she had the baby, I said, Colleen, do you still want me to live here? And she said, yes, of course, I don't want you to leave. Maybe at some point I would love to move out and start doing things on my own, but you know what, like, I've known Colleen for over 15 years. She's literally my family. I'm not close to my family, like, I go to Colleen's family holiday parties, family dinners, whatever, like, they're so close to me, Colleen means so much to me. If I moved out on my own, I would sit in an apartment, be completely depressed, have anxiety 24-7, not talk to a single person, shrivel up into a ball, turn into an old half-white, one-fourth Japanese, one-fourth Puerto Rican man, and die. And so, like, that doesn't seem like fun to me, so, like, I'm so blessed, I'm so lucky that I get to be here with Colleen and she is my family, um, Flynn is my family, Eric's my family, like, I get to like see them all the time and be like in a loving relationship with them and I think that's so awesome and I'm like so lucky and if you guys think that's weird that like I want to be in a loving environment, well then I think you're weird because you want me to not be in one. You poop with the door open, okay? Whoever wrote this is spying on me. It sounds gross. My door is broken. My door won't shut. My bathroom door won't shut. So like, <laughs> I have to, I have to do it open. And, and that seems so weird and awkward and I don't know why I just told everyone that. You don't see Colleen as much because she spends way too much time with her baby. Okay, listen, if Colleen didn't spend so much time with her baby, I'd be severely worried. She is a mother, she needs to be with her baby 24-7. I'm not jealous, I don't care. I see Colleen every day, we chat every day, we gossip every day, we live our left best lives every day, we get lunches. We talk about our pains, we talk about our struggles, we talk about our success. I don't care. She has a husband, she has a baby. If she doesn't see me, I don't mind. I honestly don't mind. I see her all the time and it's amazing. And it gives me a lot more time to do things that I want to do with myself. I mean, I get to go to the gym, I get to relax. There's a great website called Audible and it's really cool because you can listen to tons of books just audibly and I can sit back and relax and listen to cool things. There's a fitness motivation one that I always listen to and it's called The Little Black Book of Workout Motivation. And I, I just think that's awesome where I can just sit back and relax and listen to a book. And you guys can do it too. Just go on to audible.com slash Cory DeSoto. You know, I'll do you even better. You can get your first audio book for free and get a 30 day trial, you know, for free. Just have to text Corey DeSoto to 500 500. I mean, it's for free. Why not try it out? I'm obsessed with it. I listen to it every day. There's tons of books, everything from A to Z to tickle your fancy. Like, just do it. So go to audible.com slash Corey DeSoto and check it out. Or text Corey DeSoto to 500 500 and get your free audio book. Get your free audio book. Uh uh uh. It is free. You like Gus better than Daisy, 100%. Gus is just an angry, stuck up gay cat who hates everyone he sees but me. So I feel like it's a privilege. You eat cat food. Yes, it's delicious. Fans are annoying. No, fans don't annoy me. I hate, you know what I do hate? When people tweet me, I saw you somewhere and I didn't come up to you because I was afraid. Come up to me! I want to see you! I want to say hi! I want to take pictures! I want you to tag me in all your pictures! Stop doing that! You've never had an official BF. Okay, <laughs> this is real personal, but like, it's true. I've never had an official boy boyfriend. I always get in these weird relationships where like, we're dating and it's amazing and everything's great and I want to commit and then they're just like, no, 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 hey, no, 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 no. It's so hard to get someone to commit to you. I mean, I'm just like, we've been dating for a couple months and this is great. Nothing's gonna change. The only thing that's gonna change is that you can't date other men. And then that is just like, pfft, like mind blowing to them. They cannot do that. And they're like, hell no. I said, hell no. I never had a person I was dating say, I love you. Like, I never been loved. And like, I know that sounds so depressing and sad. And like, it's, that's a, a really huge sad thing to say out loud. There's a lot to love. 
Oh my god, I'm so pathetic. You were a hoe in high school. Um, respect if so. I wasn't a hoe in high school. I actually didn't date anyone, boys, girls, whatever, nothing, till I was 23. In high school, I was just a nerd. I just did school, ASB, Associate of Student Body, President. You know, the cool things in life. School and student government. <laughs> you don't like Eric. I think this is ridiculous. I think Eric's an amazing person. I love that he's like so creative mind and talented and very kind and generous. And he, like the best thing about him is that he's like obsessed with Colleen. And I've never seen like someone so loving towards Colleen. Like he really loves her. I think that's awesome. You're really anxious and you jitter a lot. Okay, in every video you probably will see if I use my hands, they're like, why are you shaking? Why are you shaking? Oh my God, she's shaking so much. Why is she shaking? Yes, I shake all the time. I have anxiety, and when I do videos like this, I get nervous, and so I shake. So who cares if she has a little shimmy in her step? Let her be. <laughs> Anyways, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be doing videos weekly. Please subscribe for more. Please follow my Instagram so I don't feel bad about every time I post a picture of my face, I lose people. And please hop on to audible.com slash Cory DeSoto. I'll see you guys later. Bye.